Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? This is SEL0320 representing JVS. Um, no, I've been off the radar for a while. Me and Joe, we normally do like reviews for Arrow. Um, this is episode 18. It's called 1159. Um, I've never done anything like this, but as you can see right here, um, You'll see my my expressions with some of the stuff that was going on while I was watching it on my computer. And essentially, I was going through a, a series of different emotions. One, I thought it was really interesting the way that they were allowing Laura Lance to be able to really shine as far as her fight choreography. Like, I don't know why, but Black Canary's fighting has been lackluster, in my personal opinion. Like, compared to Sarah, it was like, I was thinking, like, Thea can do this. Like, why can't Laurel, like... She really was going in in this episode. But, but the things that you're seeing as far as my expressions is there is emotional turmoil that's going on the probably the last 15 minutes of the episode. And it was really shocking. I'm not going to put my reaction up there. I'm not going to put any kind of dialogue with it. You just you literally see what you see right there. That being said, as far as episode, as far as the way it was designed, the episode was actually okay. Um didn't make a lot of sense, but it did at the same time. And the sense of, basically, Laurel is put in this realization of she can either be the Black Canary or she can maybe be the new DA. Um, basically, Oliver's in this place where he can't do anything about this with the presidential election now going, well, not presidential, but the mayor election going over to Damien Dark's uh, wife. And now, Damien Dark is now in a position of being able to get his powers back because of Malcolm Merlin. All these different things, these factors are going on, but the underlying thing that's happening is with Diggle and his brother. The realization from the last episode that Diggle's brother basically is a rogue, and Diggle doesn't know that. And Oliver is having these kind of suspicions, and it keeps going back in parallel from him with the flashback. And I thought that was actually done really well. And from that standpoint, it was just the way that Diggle handles it, he damn, handles it really emotionally versus calculatively. He let his brother get inside of his heart, and that that pays. I mean, there's a price to be paid by the end of this episode, and I think that that was one of the things that's one of the most emotionally sad things about this episode. I don't know how clear cut it actually was. That's the thing. Um, but I mean, I, I give it props for that nature. I will go into a lot more details in my spoiler review that I'm about to do just in a second. But my first impression of this episode, I give it an eight point five out of ten. I think it was. Man, it was unnecessary what happens. There is a death at the end. Um, I don't know, man. It was well acted. The, towards the last 10 minutes, it was very well acted. I mean, there was some emotional moments. Um, even with Thea and Malcolm and their dynamics, there's a lot of good acting, pacing things that are going on. But some moments that really made me upset, um, to be quite honest with you. And I, I don't know ramifications of them but you, if you want to know my personal opinion I'm gonna go and spill it into the spoiler review that I'm about to do right now hopefully you enjoyed this non spoiler review for episode 18 of season 4 of the era keep it locked JVS we ain't gonna stop I know I sound really sad and down but wait till you see the episode <laughs> peace